Hi, it's Stephanie. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching my channel. Welcome to my sewing room full of chaos. Oh my gosh. Can I tell you a story? Not an educational video. This is just a little story about what happened to me and why my sewing room is in chaos. Total chaos. But the story begins like this. You know, where we are right now, we've been kind of in this whole COVID and quarantine and staying home a lot, right? And that's why my sewing room even exists is because it was a quarantine project and it was like sewing has been a salvation for me with all the time at home. It's my hobby and I've always enjoyed it. And with all this extra time, I've been doing extra projects. I'm sure I've talked about that in other videos. And um, so it's been great. You know, it's been great to have all of this right here at my fingertips. And I just got home from a fun camping trip. We were gone and um, our state has been like, we've got a, a statewide mandate to wear masks everywhere. We've had that for a few weeks. And then, um, you know, it's just been, things have been shut down, not shut down. It's been crazy. And so um, I had this camping trip and it was available. Like it wasn't canceled. A lot of our camping trips have been canceled, right? If you, wherever you are, I'm in California. And so we took that camping trip with our friends. It's an annual camping trip we do every year. This was our fourth or fifth year. And every year it gets better. We had a great time. But before that, I was getting ready. And I, and I broke my sewing machine, I broke my serger. And I was working on these shorts and I have to do a video on these shorts because they turned out so cute and they were so comfy and they were so perfect, perfect for camping, very comfy. And um, so I was kind of marathoning it, you know, trying to get these shorts done for this trip. And I was tired and I was doing the same thing over and over and I broke my machine. I broke my serger, this one right here. I've had done an unboxing on this serger and I have absolutely loved it. And the, the machine was not the problem. The problem was me. I had a pin that I did not remove. I didn't see it and it went right through and it just, it broke a piece of metal, piece of metal. I think it's part of a cutter. I can't fix that. It's not just replace the needle. I can't fix that. And you know, I only paid $200 for this machine. So I don't know who I could even take that would cost less than that to fix. It's kind of that not worth fixing phase, right? So I really wanted to finish my project. So I said to hubby, I'm just gonna go buy another one. I've, I've had it for a few years and um, it was worth it. And then I'm gonna get the same machine, this one right here. Here's what happened. I went to Joann's first. I have two stores in my town that would have a sewing machine, Joann's and Walmart. Other than that, I'm gonna have to travel to a bigger, bigger town. So I went to Joann's first to see if I could do a little price comparison because I knew they had this machine at Walmart. So it was just this one, same thing. Um, went to my Joann's and they usually have this like wall of sewing machines right up at the front of the store and some extras in the back of the store. Not one machine of any kind. They had some crickets, but that, that's it. No sewing machines, no sergers, no nothing. And I'm like, this is so weird. It's just, you never know what's going to be in the stores, right? It's been crazy. Like we've had a lot of empty shelves here and then, th then things seem normal and then empty and then normal. It's been weird. So I ran to my Walmart hoping that they had the serger. One machine, no sewing machines, one serger. That's it. Empty shelves. I'm like, whoa, I'm grabbing it. So I grabbed it. I bought it. It was $200, $199. Same machine, 1034, 1034, brother, same machine. Get home, same machine. I, I knew exactly how to work it. I knew exactly. I know how to thread this thing like that. I just, it's tweezers, do, 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 done. So I, first thing I noticed is this little piece was like loose and looked like that should be screwed in, but what do I know? It's machinery, right? So I threaded it, didn't work. Threaded it, did, I changed every setting threaded it, didn't work, threaded it, didn't work. I know how to thread it, I know how to work it, didn't work. Just didn't work. It just didn't work. I, I feel like that piece is the problem. I feel like it's um, something wrong with it, like it's defective. So I gave up on the project. I finished my shorts just sewing them. No pretty little serge edges for me. No. So 
I told hubby, I'm taking this back. I told my girlfriend on the camping trip, I'm taking it back. And she said, you can't return anything at our Walmart. You have to save the receipt and wait for this whole shutdown to be over. Then they'll take returns, but they're not taking returns right now. How crazy is that? So I saved the receipt, I taped it to the box. I will be returning this. And I came home and I said, I really don't wanna just stop on my projects and I don't wanna give up my searcher. So I, um, I've been getting these ads like on my Instagram. If you're wondering if you're a business, if you're wondering if Instagram works, it does. It does because I saw this ad. It's a, a nearby town about an hour and a half away. Most of the towns are an hour and a half away from where I am. And I thought I'm going to call them and see if they're open and do they have any searchers. So I called them up the day I got back. Like I got back the next morning. I'm calling them. <laughs> when I get an idea I'm mm. so I told hubby I'm gonna spend a little more but I'm gonna have it from a machine a machine from the store that can repair it because that's part of what they do there and um, you know I didn't I thought it would cost probably hundred two hundred dollars to repair and that's how much it cost new so I bought so I'm gonna get a nicer machine this time and I, I said to her you know I was what I was looking for and she said just come in we've got a lot you can choose from and when I got there they were totally you know doing all the precautions we wore the masks you know do all the stuff and the owner helped me because he was the one who knew the most about sergers and I told him what I was looking for number one simple and easy number two affordable <laughs> number three something that if it broke he would fix and he said i stand behind every machine here i've got you i've got your back you buy a machine for me i will fix it and i thought okay sounds good so he didn't he told me the cheapest ones were like this you know with all the threading and i was fine with that but he said but wait i'm going to show you something called an air threader so i did end up picking it up i got the cheapest air threader he had which is a a um a Viking Amber 400 air threader and I love it because you just stick this little thread in a hole and push a little button and poof it, it threads itself I'm in love with that and um, he gave me some money off if I would bring him my old machine which made me so happy because my only alternative is to throw this away it is broken and I don't know who could fix it except a guy like him and he said he could probably fix it and put it to some good use and I got the discount of more than this was worth he gave me more than the value of this machine off of that machine I bought so I got a deal I don't have to throw this in the landfill and feel bad about it ecologically and this one's going back to Walmart and they'll figure out what they're going to do with it and I'm going to be on my air threader Viking. I didn't feel like I wanted to shop around a bunch of stores just being in a kind of a shutdown scenario and I just felt more comfortable just getting it done one and done. Like I didn't want to shop Craigslist and go to a bunch of people's houses. I didn't want to meet people. I didn't want to go to other stores. I didn't want to research it so please if you know that I got the wrong machine please don't tell me I think it's great like I love this machine you know I know there's other brands I know there's lots of them it's just that's what he told me and I went in trust I just decided to trust and I've got a free class on searchers so I'm gonna be taking that in a few weeks and see if I can learn something I didn't self teach myself from the manual and I'm looking forward to that I'd like to make sure that I'm using all the features you know that I know that I'm could do this little tweak and it would be better or I could do something I didn't even know I could do with it and um, I just really want it to be able to finish all my, you know, all my edges and that's all I use it for. But who knows after the class, right? So I'm back in business. I'm going to be back to my project board, which is right up here. And I've got all kinds of projects to add to it now. And one of them is uh, my cute little cover that I made for this. It doesn't fit the new machine. It's too, it's too small. That machine's bigger. I mean, the box is like twice the size of the box of the right here. So... I'm going to be making a new cover and a couple of you had asked me how I made that. I made it up. I didn't have a pattern and it was super easy. I still have my notes. I use a little notebook you've seen in some of my videos. So I still have my notes and it was a custom measurement for each machine. And so I will show you how I made it in case you're wondering and you would like to try it and you can make your own tweaks and do your own thing. But I'll just show you how I made it. It was super simple and you could custom to whatever machine you have whatever kind of machine you have you can make a little cover for so that's my chaos i broke my serger 
user are error. I still stand behind this brother. I would recommend it. It's a really affordable choice. And I do feel like I've moved into a new era of spending too much money on a machine. <laughs> but I didn't mind because I know how much I'm going to use it. I use my serger a lot and now I feel confident that it's going to be a workhorse. It's just going to be something that I can use and use and use. And when it breaks, I've got a store I can go back to. And I feel like excited about that too, because now I have like this place to go and they have a lot of classes and um, not right now because they're kind of pared down and, you know, with social distancing, keeping everybody distance apart in their little classroom and all of that. But in a normal non-COVID time, they would have a lot of classes like all day long. So I'm going to be really enjoying seeing what I can learn there and kind of being part of a community and, you know, having a place to go and see what's new. And I'm just excited about that. So that's my story. What do you think? <laughs> How's your sewing going? <laughs> do you have a chaos story too? If you would like to see my next video and when it's coming up, please hit the subscribe button, ring that little bell, and you'll see when my videos come out. And um, I've done a lot of playing, did my camping trip, and now I feel like I've got some time just sort of laying in front of me to get some projects done, and I will do as much filming as I can. And so be prepared for a lot of sewing. That's what's coming up for me. And um, I do want to do a little video on my trip. Uh, not a long one because nobody else in my group wanted to be on camera. <laughs> so, but I do want to do a little video on that and um, just kind of share. So please hit the subscribe, thumbs up, leave me a comment, and I'll see you next time. Bye now.